Hey y'all, how are y'all doing tonight? Well, I just got uh, done watching the video, the Donald Woodsman's uh, live video. Um, they brought up a lot of things tonight, a lot of good callers that called in. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, subscribe to it. He does Facebook and he does YouTube, so if you go subscribe to him, watch his channel. You can actually call in on Sunday nights. He has it where you can call in and give your two cents and uh, give your opinion about stuff and uh, what's going on with the country and how we can change things and how we can fix things. Um, tonight, I was just wanting to do a video to talk to, basically have y'all talk to, or you know, my girlfriend talk to y'all and uh, she's gonna answer some questions that what she's going through with work uh, and with the job market that's out there today. So I'm gonna hand my phone over to her and uh, what we're basically, what she's basically gonna talk about is pe about people that's uh, not willing to work and there's plenty of jobs out there but they're not wanting to take them and the people that do get the jobs they're not willing to work either even though the demand's there for them and they can make really good money all right so here's stacy y'all hi y'all it's stacy um <clears throat> first and foremost there's plenty of jobs out there in this job market today um everybody knows that everybody's hiring um, my job especially, I'm not saying where I work, but yes, we are hiring as well. Um, we get applicants in, not, not as many as we used to, um, probably because the government is still handing out free money, obviously. Um, people just want to sit on their ass and not work. Um, anybody we do hire, it's slim pickings, really. And nobody wants to work weekends and holidays, you know, everybody wants a dream schedule, like... You, I, I don't get it. It's it's uh, it's changed a lot. Um, I've been a manager for a long time now, um, about four years. And uh, prior to COVID, it was easy to hire people, easy to keep people, retain staff. Um, now it's harder to get people, and when you do, they don't want to work. Um, they last maybe a month or two, and they leave. Um, then you have the dedicated workers out there, and not just in my field, all fields. We have dedicated workers who sit there, come into work all the time. They're working five, six days. They're working open to close. They're, you know, they're tired. They're stressed, um, all because people are too lazy to come to work. And it's just, it's really, um, it's really crazy out there. Um, you know, people just need to learn to work and be normal again. You know, not not look for free handouts. It's 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 tiring. It is tiring. Very tiring. All right. Yeah, that's that's some good points to bring up because that that does happen a lot out there. You know, uh, with the government giving out money and getting uh, handouts to people, it's making people not want to work because they're making more money sitting at home than they are actually working. Um, but you know, they need to they the government needs to stop sending that money to them. You know, um, the thing about it is too, I want to bring up tonight. You know, also Americans never give up your guns never if you do you're going to end up like australia australia gave up their guns and look at the people now really pay attention if you don't know what i'm talking about go on the sky news and watch and you can you can look at stuff that's going on in australia then people are not allowed to own firearms you know uh airsoft guns and and paintball guns they can have them, but they have to have a special permit just to have that. They can't even have a BB gun, y'all. A BB gun that we can buy at Walmart, they can't even have that. So as Americans, I'm telling everybody out there, please, please, never give up your guns no matter what. You know, and uh, right now there's a lot of evil things out there, you know, uh, that's happening. You know, Joe Biden's sitting here talking about the rich people uh, needs to pay their, pay their fair share of, of taxes. Well, what about him? I heard today that he owes owes uh, the IRS uh, half a million dollars, and he hasn't paid that. So he's sitting here saying that the, the rich people need to pay their fair share. Well, he needs to pay his damn money he owes. You know, uh, all of us Americans that work out here every day, we're supporting everybody. You know, people don't want to work, and uh, there's people out there that get money, and, you know, they worked all their lives and stuff like that. You know, and they don't even want to give them a good raise. You know, the veterans out there are hurting. They don't even want to give them a good raise on their stuff. So, but they'll give the people that's sitting on their ass, there ain't nothing wrong with them. And they're just, they're sucking off the teat of the, of the, of the United States and just sitting on their ass and there ain't nothing wrong with them. So, 
you know, it's just a, it's a lot of stuff going on, y'all. You know, uh, down there at the border, we know them people ain't being flown back to their countries. We know that. It's already proven. Uh, they're they're using planes and, and buses and shipping them to, to red states and stuff. But I got a question, you know, and maybe y'all can answer this for me on the, um, the comments. <clears throat> okay. So, since they did what they did to Donald Trump around election time, why do they need the immigrants in the country? If they can do that on them machines, then why do they need the immigrants? You know, y'all ever thought about that? I've kind of thought about it. You know, uh, I don't know why, you know, but man, we do not know what's coming in our country and it's dangerous. You know, the drugs and, and the bad people and stuff. There's probably some good people that's coming through, but, uh, you know, they're just not, not doing it the right way. And, uh, you know, the Biden administration doesn't want, he, they want to abolish the, the you know, our uh, rights and stuff and uh, the Constitution. And uh, they're putting us out on the line. As Americans, they're really putting us out on the line. We're, we're going to see crime go up. We're going to see things that we've never seen before. We've never seen this amount of people come into this country uh, illegal. And it's against the law, too. You know, it's it's written that it's it's you're breaking the law when you do that. Um, you know, as um, the country goes, everybody out there now is all you know stressed out about this and uh with everything that's going on it's kind of changed people a little bit i talked to a buddy of mine that i've known since i was a teenager and he says philip there's something different about me he said i don't know what it is he said there's something different he says i almost feel like i'm out of body experience <coughs> you know and uh this is a, this is a guy that's down to earth y'all he's down to earth and he's a good guy and uh i told him i said well you know i think what it is is, is society you know uh, we're worried about a lot of things. There's a lot of things being shoved down our throats. We're worried about our families. We're worried about the price of uh, food and everything going up, you know, and uh, that has a lot to do with it. So I think it's stressing people out. And all this news that's coming out, these smoke and mirrors and all this news, it's scaring people. You know, it's, it's fear. They're pushing fear on us, you know. But if you believe in God, then you shouldn't fear nothing. We shouldn't fear nothing. If you believe in Jesus Christ and you believe in God, we shouldn't fear nothing, you know, because if something happens to us, if you're living the right way, you ain't got to worry about it. You ain't got to worry about it. This is just, this is just a part of life is on this earth. The other part of life is in heaven. So if you're doing what you're supposed to, we have nothing to fear, you know, and just like the old saying, you know, uh, one of the people said, we have nothing to fear, but fear itself, you know, uh, that was that was said in a speech and i'm pretty sure y'all know who said that um but the trump rally i heard it went really well i heard a lot of people was there and um then it went really well for donald trump that's good we need a lot of people uh supporting that guy you know and i think he's got a good chance of coming back in y'all i really do uh we got to get people out there to vote if you haven't voted in your life and you haven't got out there and voted this is the most critical time that you can vote is you're going to have to get off your ass and vote. I, I don't care if you're at work. You need to take that day off or take a day off and vote. We need to get the trash out of there. We need to take the trash out, you know. And um, when it comes to um, when it comes to people out there, you know, uh, working every day, you know, it, it, you go out there working every day. They're making you wear these damn masks. And depending on what job you got, like my job is very physical. Man, you when you wear that damn mask, it, it kills you. I mean, it's just, you can't hardly breathe. I, I have a hard time breathing anyway. I smoke cigarettes, y'all. Y'all know that. I'm like a freight train, you know. Uh, but it's just, man, we, we got we to gotta quit with the BS, you know. We can't, we can't put up with these people. The foolishness needs to stop, you know. And uh, I can't travel across the states to go fix another state or go f help fix the border. But I can control what's in my state. So if you're in Texas and you want to control what's in your state, you go down there and take care of your state. I'm in Florida. I'll take care of my state. I see something going wrong in my state, I'm going to police my state. And I'm going to hold people accountable, whatever it takes. Even if that's a, you know, uh, a, a, you know whatever I need to do, go go up there and protest, say what I got to say, go up there and, and get, in, get, in, get in their business, 
that's what I'm going to do. So wherever state you're in, you, you have control over the state you're in, your local stuff. Um, I'm from Florida, so I, I mean, I, I don't know much about Texas and stuff, but the people in Texas, y'all, there's enough of y'all. If y'all wanted to, y'all could really cause a stink and really get stuff moving, especially when there's a lot of people that's pissed off. Um, so do that. And all the pastors out there, you need to stand up and tell your, tell your people what's really going on. Instead of telling that feel good story, tell what's really going on, you know, and, uh, it's just like them Afghans they brought over here. They said on the news the other day, they brought Afghans over here that had uh, young women that they were married to, young girls that they were married to. They allowed them to come in our country being married to a young kid. This is on the news, y'all. This ain't fake. They brought Afghanistan men that were over, grown men that were married to children, and we allowed that to come to our country? We're saying that's okay to come to our country and you're married to a child? Can't y'all see what that is? That's sick. And we shouldn't allow that. We shouldn't allow that at all. If you come to our country the right way, you're going to have to follow our damn laws. And if you don't like our laws, you can take your ass back to where you come from. And all these people like the squad and all them, AOC and the squad, you know, if you hate this country so much, get the hell out of it. Leave. We don't need you here. All y'all are trying to do is cause trouble. It's just like Al Sharpton. You watch that, Stacey, did you watch that Al Sharpton when he went down to Texas? Yep, I did. You see how he was acting? Oh, yeah. Pushing, he was, oh. man, he was pushing hate down there, and there was a Spanish guy that was down there, a press guy, it was like an independent press guy, was haggling the shit out of him. And Al Sharpton couldn't even hardly talk, he was haggling him so bad. That's what we need to do. Whenever them evil people show up and try to push a bunch of crap, whoever's around them needs to haggle the shit out of them. Don't let their word get out. Scream, whatever you need to do. Holler, tell them to get the hell out of here, whatever you need to do, do it. That's how we take care of that mess. And uh, because that, that race thing, it ain't working. It ain't working. <coughs> that race stuff is not working. They said there was about 10 or 20,000 black people for Trump at the Trump rally. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. You know? So it has nothing to do with race. What it is, is the rich against the poor. And they're trying to suck whatever money they can out of these mom and pop businesses to make them go out of, out of business so the big businesses can have their money and get whatever money they can get out the, the business that the little little mom and pop's places could get. They're going to get it out of out of them. Can't y'all see what's happening, man? Can't y'all see what's happening? Follow the money. Follow the... That's all you got to do is follow the money. Who's making money off of what? You know, it's just like the... the You know, the... The jab. Who's making that money? It don't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. Who's making this money? Who's got the most... Who's got the most to win with this? Okay. Big Pharma? Our government? For control? A lot of stuff, y'all. So we need to pay attention to it, you know, and uh, stand up for what you believe that's right. You know, you hear people talking, they're saying something wrong, stand up to them. Who cares? They want to fight and fight them, but stand up to their ass. Don't let them, don't let them cower you down or you keep your mouth shut. No, you say what the hell you want to say, because I guarantee there's a lot of people behind you that feels the same way and they're scared to talk. But if somebody comes out and, and, and tells the truth, they're going to bring it, you know. But, um, you know, it's like with Stacy over here, you know, Stacy works a job and uh, she works it every day, but it's a hard thing for her to keep employees, you know, and people don't want to work today. That's just the thing. They want free stuff. Free stuff yeah. screws you because if somebody gives you stuff for free and basically pays you to live, then they control what you do. It's like a cat. If you feed a cat every day, you control that cat. So that cat knows he's getting dinner at a certain time. If you stop giving that cat dinner, he won't know what to do because you're the one that controls his food. Yep, he won't know how to survive. You know, if if you believe in if you believe in socialism, communism, ask somebody from Venezuela, ask somebody from Cuba how they feel about that. You know, there's a lot of people that likes Trump that's from you know from Cuba and and from them countries that'll tell you real fast they like Donald Trump because they know what socialism is. Mm -hmm. You know, but um. 
the thing about it is is there's a lot of stuff going on today guys a lot of stuff going on just prepare prepare the best you can i know it's stressful out there i know i feel it too i i have the stress too i get pissed every time i see biden going up there and telling lies it makes me angry as hell but we gotta we gotta stand up to it we gotta stand up to it hold these people accountable um the thing about it is is the you know this country is the best country in the world this is the last free country of the world y'all y'all understand that last free country of the world and there's people out here that hates it that are americans that hate it they hate our country and they live here they want to they want to eat our uh, they want to they want to benefit from us they want the milk and honey of this country but they don't want to they don't want to stand up for it and they want to talk about how bad it is you know it's just like the racism thing you know they try to bring up the racism thing you know you get somebody out there like a Kanye West that lived you know in the in a bad part of the neighborhood and uh in the black neighborhood and it's real rough okay well he starts singing and making money and he starts making good money and where does he move to he don't move back to the hood he moves in the white neighborhood so if the if the white people if they're saying the white people are racist then why would you as a rich person that could have a house built anywhere why would you move into a white neighborhood with people that you you call racist that don't make no sense you know you know and that nancy pelosi and that chuck schumer man they're evil people man they're evil people you know but they'll get what's coming to them they'll get what's coming to them if they don't get it here on earth they're going to get it up there god's going to take care of them people but we got to stay strong for the country you know and teach your kids the right thing teach your kids about how beautiful this country is and how about our forefathers and teach them history because in these schools they don't want to teach them history they're trying to teach them everything they can other than history they're trying to erase history you know it's like them tearing down the statues general lee statue and stonewall jackson's uh statue saying it's racist and stuff come on that's history history i mean there's stuff over there's stuff over in germany that's still up from the not from the nazis it's still there they haven't tore it down it's a part of history now it was bad you know bad stuff happened but it's still there and it's a part of history and we need to learn from it because if we don't learn from it it can happen again because history will repeat itself so that's a reminder when we have history it's a reminder of what to do or what not to do but if it's gone then nobody knows about it and if it ain't being taught to our children and the kids then guess what then they don't know nothing about it they have no clue about it you know and um there's like a lot of things that's that in the old times that were taught to children and they're not being passed down there's a lot of things not being passed down it's like crocheting my mom crochets right well she taught me how to crochet i'm a guy but I know how to crochet. I can crochet a chain. I might not be able to do a, uh, like a, a, a bedspread or nothing like that, but I can do a chain. You know, I know a little bit about it. But there's a lot of things out there that we're not uh, passing down to our children that needs to be passed down. If you have a certain skill or you have something that your grandfather taught you, you need to pass it down to your children. You know, teach your kids survival skills. You know, teach them, teach them stuff, you know. Like when I was a kid, they used to teach me uh, stranger danger, you know what I mean? You don't go up to strangers talking to strangers. You know, do they still teach that to kids? I don't know. And these days, that's it needs to be taught more than it was when I was a kid. When I was a kid, you could leave your door open, you could play in the backyard, <coughs> you could play on the street, and you didn't have to worry about it. But these kids today ain't like we was. We played in the yard, man. We went out there and made forts and rode bicycles and played basketball and had a good time. And you didn't you didn't come in and out the house. Mom would holler at you, you know. When the when the street lights come on, gas had to be in the house. You know what I mean? And uh, it was a different time. You know these these kids these days doesn't know how to. They don't know how to do nothing. All and they don't know how to talk either. If you if you ever go to like a fast food restaurant, and you see one of them young uh, teenagers up there, talk to them see how they communicate they don't know how to communicate to a person they can communicate like a mother on that phone but they can't communicate in person they don't know how to talk they ain't got no people skills you know and uh 
But the thing about it is, teach your kids, teach your kids how to do stuff, y'all. Pass it down. Our children is is our future, you know. And we need to nip this at the bud because we're always a generation away from being socialist and communist, and it can happen. So, you know, you do the 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 thing about it is, a lot of people these days they've let the schools teach your kids everything and they don't have time to teach your kids nothing. You know, the parents don't have time to keep, teach the kids nothing, but you need to do your part too. The parents out there, you need to do your part. It's just like the kids, you know, you, you drive down the road and there's a couple people, a couple kids out in the road, you know, you slow down. These kids nowadays will shoot you a bird and cuss you out and nothing's done to them. Back when I was a kid, if you seen a car coming down the road, you got the hell out of the way. And if you said something or looked at them crazy or whatever, they went and told your parents and you get your ass tore up. You know what I mean? So it's a different time. These kids these days, they don't have no respect for nobody. You know? Um, teach, your, teach the girls how to be ladies and teach the boys how to be men. Because the thing about it is, a lot of men that's out there now, young men that's out there, they're like females. They're like females. They got... They, they got they get flustered and they, they get mad just like a woman does. They're like a woman. A man ain't supposed to get mad. A man is supposed to, supposed to look at a situation and fix it. We ain't supposed to react like a female. You know, because we're not made that way. We're made as a man. You know? And then you got mothers out there that's raising kids by themselves and they, there isn't a father in the house. And what you're, the thing about it is a, a woman can't raise a man. Because she doesn't know how to be a man. So how can she raise a man? I mean, she's doing the best she can because there ain't a man in the house and she's having to raise the kid the best she can. But the thing about it is, is children need both parents. That's a big thing nowadays too. Children don't have both parents. A lot of children don't. You know, my mom and dad wasn't together, but my dad was always there for me and I was always there with mom. So my dad was always in my life and he taught me how to be a man. He taught me how to do stuff. You know, but a lot of children these days don't have that. So they got a woman teaching a boy something and the boy is real like, you know, gets gets all like a female, you know, like he lets stuff worry him and he gets all flustered. And, you know, and these kids these days, they want handouts. Back when I was a kid, if you wanted money, <coughs> you had to work for it, man. You want to go out for the weekend? <coughs> you had to go work for it. You had to go out there and uh, mow yards, uh, collect bottles turn bottles in or whatever you had to work for that money these parents these days are foolish as hell they get a kid out here they ain't got no job and they'll buy them a brand new truck a brand new truck and they ain't even got no damn job you know the parents pay for everything the insurance car payment and everything so they're handing them stuff and not teaching them to value stuff and to work for something if you want something you work for it it's like I tell my daughter I said if you want something you work for it you ain't getting no handouts. <coughs> this world doesn't owe... The, the thing about these young kids today, they think the world owes them something. They think the world owes them something. The world don't owe you nothing. And this world, how you want your life to be is what you make of your life. So if you sit on your ass and you don't do nothing, you're going to be a nothing. You know? Sit there worry about Xbox. Play Xbox. Play PlayStation. And don't, don't get out there and work. Don't get out there and learn. You know, learn a skill. They want to push these kids into college where they teach them all this crap, this leftist crap, and these universities and stuff. We need people out there now that's electricians, you know, uh, air-conditioned guys, welders. Man, you know how many people, out, know how many jobs out there is hurting for, like, welders, air-conditioned guys, HAVAC, HAZVAC guys, and all this stuff? A lot. But everybody's telling their kid, oh, go to college. The people up there, them, them professors, are teaching them all this Marxist crap. That's why you have kids that can't do nothing. You got, you got grown adults that can't do nothing. They don't know nothing about nothing. All they can do is sit here and whine and cry and want free shit and want everything to be paid for and took care of. We got to stand up to this stuff, y'all. We got to stand up. The morals of this country, that's why it has a problem. The morals is gone. Morals is gone. But you can make a change in your family. You can make a change in your family. Your kids and stuff, you can do it. Um, 
when it comes to uh, you know uh, the country this country was founded on Christian beliefs you know and uh, a lot of people don't believe in God you know a lot of people don't believe in God I think you know what I think this is what I think and I, I don't know if I'm right or not but this is what I think okay you think about it you got these fires going you got earthquakes you got tornadoes you got floods you got landslides you got all this stuff going on volcanoes erupting and stuff okay I think God's sending a message I think he's telling everybody he's telling everybody you better get straight and I kind of think the people that don't believe in God I think they're thinking well you know if we throw enough money at the problem we can we can help we can uh, we keep mother nature from doing stuff because you know they believe in garbage buddy when God comes back they're not gonna be able to stop nothing they have no control of nothing it's like Joe Biden wanting to do that 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 green deal man that is a big I'm telling you we don't need that to pass y'all we need to raise hell about that really there's a lot of things in there we need to raise hell about that 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 3.5 trillion it ain't infrastructure y'all y'all need to look that up research it if you don't believe me research it make me a make make a believer out of me and comment on it look that stuff up it's about 2,000 pages worth man hey we can't let this stuff go on no more y'all we can't let it go on no more but we never need to give up them guns never that's the only thing that's keeping us free is in guns they know that if they come for us they're going to have a fight on their hands. They know that. Because a lot of people ain't going to give them up. And I won't. If they want my gun, they're going to have to pry it from my dead, my dead hand. Because I'll fight. I know there's some people out there that says, Oh, I, I'll, never give them, I'll never give them my guns. Uh, uh, yeah. But well, some people out there are just hand them over. Oh, we're going to buy back your guns. Okay, for $150. Okay. I'll turn them in. Australia did that. Now look what they're going through. They can't fight nothing. As soon as they walk down the street to protest, they're they're getting beat beat up by the police and get slammed on the ground and on lockdown. You know, we don't want to end up that way, y'all. We don't want to end up that way. You know, um, this country is way too precious. You know, and you know what's crazy too is they give a they give on Social Security. They they didn't hike it up very much for Social Security. I can't remember what the percentages they went up, but it wasn't that much. But they hiked up the the benefits for the people that sit on their ass. They hiked that at like twenty five percent, y'all. But the people that's worked all their life that get Social Security, they ain't doing nothing for them. Now you gotta think about it. Everything's going up, food, gas. Everything's going up high. So what's the people on Social Security that's on fixed income? What do they do? What do they do? When they go out there to buy groceries, milk, eggs, food, and they only get this amount of money. They get this amount of money and they gotta they gotta buy groceries. And they give them just a little bit of a hike in their in their in their money. You know? There's some evil stuff going on, y'all, for real. We can't we can't uh we can't sit back. You know, it's just like a buddy of mine, David Jones, says. He says, we got to start with our local. Start with your local, your towns, your cities. See who's being put in places. Who's being put in control of of your, your commissioners, your mayors, you know, uh, school board. Pay attention to who these damn people are. Because you know what they're doing right now? The Democrats are running like they're running like a Republican. They're sitting there saying they're they're running as a Republican, but really they're a Democrat. <clears throat> That's what they're doing. We can't we can't have that, y'all. We got to research these people. We got to vet them. We got to research them. You know, and they're pushing evil out there like crazy. Um, it's just it's unreal. It's unreal. And the amount of people out there, if you love this country, you'll do what's right. And I always say, you know, when you get your belly full, you'll be done with this shit. Once American people are, are, are fed up and had enough and tired of being controlled and tired of being told what to do, and uh, I think I think with them 
basically making it where people can't work because they haven't got the the Vaseline, the code word Vaseline. I think when people start uh, losing their jobs, people that stand up against it and start losing their jobs, these companies are going to hurt. These companies already have problems finding people, just like Stacy was saying. Stacy was saying, you know, it's hard to get people in there. Well, it's really going to be hard when you ain't got nobody because they're trying to force stuff. So, you know, the thing about it is some people is like like how it feels like I do. If I can't work, then all my focus goes on, on the high ups. All my focus goes on them. So instead of getting up working every day, my focus will be how to figure out how to, how to uh, start messing with them. Whether that's writing them letters every two days or whether that's out there protesting or whether that's on their damn doorstep knocking at their door. Because if I don't have a job, I got all the time in the world. And if I can't get a job because I don't have the Vaseline, then my full-time job will be fucking with you. Um, and they and they probably don't want that, but that that could that could very very possibly happen. Um, so the thing about it is, is man, I know I know it's hard, y'all. I really do. I, you know, I, I'm a patriotic guy. I love this country. I love our veterans. I love the military. You know, I love you guys out there. I know y'all guys stand for the same thing I do, and you're going through the same thing I do. <coughs> and everybody's got a story, and everybody's going through rough times, you know. <clears throat> and I understand that, you know. And um, But if you would, support your patriots. Like Waterbug68, support him. Go over there and subscribe to his channel. Like his videos. Subscribe to him. We're trying to get the word out, y'all. I'm not. I'm not in this to make money. I'm not in this for fame. I'm. I, I'm just a regular working guy. All I want is to keep this country free, and I want our rights, and I want to have a good life. That's all I want, and that's what I want for you, you people out there. I want y'all to have a good life. I don't want nobody to have a rough life, and I don't want to lose what we got in this country because what we have is something special that nobody else in the world has, and we're the last beacon of hope. When we go under. There is no free country. We're the last beacon of hope. People will hold on to C-17 planes and die to come here. They will die to come here. But yet we got people that's on the news and some Americans talking about how crappy our country is. Huh? They run that mouth how bad it is. Oh, systemic racism. Oh, this country, it ain't, it ain't good. It's this and that. Come on, man. You got people held on damn airplanes to fly over here? They're willing to die for this country. And you know what's bad? There's some Americans that ain't willing to die for this country. And for them, I feel like they need to get the hell out. If I believe if you don't love this country and you don't you support this country, then what the hell are you doing here? Go somewhere. Go somewhere. Find a place to go. Find a place that's like this and go. You know what? You're never going to find a place like this. You know, go somewhere else. They tell you what to do. They tell you what to what to eat, how much stuff you can buy. You can't move around freely. You can't run that mouth like you do here. We got freedom of speech here, but even it's getting destroyed because of Facebook, YouTube, and stuff like that. We can't even say what we want to say in a free country, and we've always had that right. And these damn <laughs> these kind of, these places like. Facebook, YouTube, are, are, are sitting here shutting people down, putting them in Facebook jail. I mean, really. But support Donald Wisman. He goes on on Sundays, usually about 7 o'clock, either on Facebook or YouTube. It could be on either one because he does back and forth. Um, Mark Hatfield is another good one. If you haven't, If you haven't seen any of his videos or anything... Go subscribe to him. Look him up on uh, on Facebook. He's on Facebook a lot. Subscribe to him. He's a real good guy. He's a real smart guy. And um, I back him 100%. Um, the two dumbass farmers, y'all want to see some guys that make you laugh. And and they, and what they say is the truth. Uh, David McCard, he's a real good guy. Keep prayers for him, though. I mean, he, he just got over the, you know, the, the stuff that's around. 
uh, but he's doing good. He got the antibodies, and it seems to be working for him. And uh, keep prayers for him. We need that guy in good health, you know. Um, say some prayers out there for Pastor Steve Warren. Uh, if you want to look up Pastor Steve Warren, you go on uh, Faith Chapel Ministries on Facebook, Pastor Steve Warren in Tennessee. Um, you can look him up, and you can he goes he has services and everything. Now he does need some prayers because he's having a little problems with his heart and stuff. He says the rhythm's off. That's what Donald told me that his uh, rhythm, his heart, every once in a while flutters or it's off. So just say some prayers for him. We need him healthy. That's our patriotic preacher we a lot of people don't have a good preacher but we have a damn good preacher he tells it like it is son you can feel you can feel when he says the word you can feel it in your body you can feel the power from that man and he knows the true word of god and he tells it like it is um you know so we need to support the patriots out there you know if you if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe to it and like it uh, put me some comments in there, you know, if I'm saying something wrong or y'all, you have a different opinion, put it in there. I'd like to hear from you, you know, uh, I, I think I'd tell the truth, you know, but, um, different people have different opinions, you know, it was like my dad, you say, you know, everybody's got opinion, opinion. No, he said, he said, opinions like assholes. Everybody's got one, but most of the time they stink, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, y'all, so, you know, just take care of yourself and your families and stuff. And I know it's a rough time. We're just going to have to put our heads down. We're going to have to stand up for this country. We're going to have to stand up for what's right. You know, it says in the Bible we should stand up. We should love what's right. And if we love something, that means you've got to stand up for it. You know, so if you love this country and you love what's right, you'll stand up and fight for it, no matter what it takes. It's our future. This is our future, you know, and we got to do what we got to do. So I know, I know it's hard. I know every, you know, they, they're mixing us up. They're getting us to think crazy stuff. Stay focused, stay focused on stuff. Don't get all caught up in the mix. Don't. And then you know what? If you watch that news, whether it's Fox news or whether it's the fake news or, or whatever it is, if it's stressing you out too, too much, turn that shit off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Go fishing. Go in the woods. Get away from it. Because sometimes you need to reset. It's like my buddy John Huey. He does that. He said when stuff overwhelms him too much, he'll get out there in the woods by himself and reset his, his mind. David Jones says he does the same thing. So it must work. Okay? So if you get too stressed out about what's going on in the country, get away from it. Go fishing. Go camping. Go hiking in the woods. You know, spend time with your family, man. The, things can go south real quick, anytime. And, I, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. I think it's going to happen. I just don't know when. So, uh, while you got the time with your family and your loved ones, spend that time with them. Tell them you love them. Spend the time with them. See your kids. Hold your kids. Love your kids. And think about it. When we stand up, we're not standing up for just us. We're standing up for our children and our children's children and the future of this country. And you just remember that. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm the type of man that if it takes me dying for this country and dying for what I know what's right to, to make my kids have better, I'm going to do it. No matter what. That's that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm here for. You know, we can pray about it all we want. 